Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Brett Keen from the YouTube channel Brett Keen Hollywood. And today we're going to talk about an atheist YouTuber by the name of Redline who is admitting on his videos that he goes around false flagging Christians, Muslims, pagans, deists, and anyone that disagrees with him or whoever has defeated him in any kind of debate. Yeah, I'm going to have to call bullshit on that. <laughs> Let me start out by saying that I find it extremely funny that only 10 seconds into your video, you already state a lie. Must be a new world record. I do not, nor have I ever flagged a video simply for disagreeing with it, nor did I ever say I ever would. It would not matter who the video is from. People have the right to free speech and to include their commentary. People have the right to their views and opinions. But what people do not have the right to do is steal someone else's content that is protected under their YouTube copyright. Some may try to get around this by pulling the fair use card, but as I will soon explain, what this one individual did was not protected under fair use. Why I flagged it, and yes I do admit I flagged that video. The reason I flagged it is because that was my video to begin with. True Empiricism mirrored the video, well not really mirrored it, he stole the video off my channel, re-uploaded it to his channel underneath a different title with no links to the original or my channel without permission, and he expects that to be okay. You claim that it's okay to flag people if they use some of your content and upload it to their YouTube channel. Let's be clear here, it was not some of my content. It was from a hangout that was over three hours long. True Empiricism did not upload this video with the purpose of commentary. This would be because he did not add any of his own content to the video in doing so. He simply downloaded the video off of my channel and re-uploaded it on his own. That is a clear violation of YouTube's copyright. What you are doing, Brett, right now with this upload that you made towards me would be protected under fair use because you are using certain clips for the purpose of commentary. You are actually putting your own work and content into this upload. That is exactly what Ronnie did not do. Strangely enough, if we look at your YouTube channel, um, you have violated terms of service and community guidelines several times. You have stolen video clips of Christians and other God believers all over YouTube, posted them in your videos and called them bullshit. You mocked them, you attacked them, you insult them, and did not ask for permission, of course, to take their videos and then insult the living hell out of them. And to make matters worse, not only have you done this to YouTube individuals breaking terms of service and community guidelines, but you've also stolen copyright music as well as video material, which I'm going to show throughout this video. Again, as long as the clips are used for the purpose of context, it's actually protected under fair use. In every one of my videos to Ronnie, none of them are full complete videos or uploads from his channel, which would break copyright. Instead, the videos are laid out in a clip reply clip format, which is actually the same format you are using to make your video towards me. Not only does this show that you are a hypocrite, but it shows you have little understanding on the topic of copyright. The replying format, as stated previously, entails that I put my own content in the upload in order to prove an overall original point. Again, this is what Ronnie did not do. As for my intro, I follow these guidelines. Damaging to the potential market? The answer would be no. Are you using segments longer than 30 seconds? The answer would be no there as well. Notices requesting that the video be removed or the intro muted? Again, the answer is no. In fact, YouTube is very lenient on this one. They even put links in the description that you yourself highlighted so that the non-damaging segment can actually be a benefactor to the group or band. So with all things considered, Ronnie still does not have a leg to stand on here. Because it's not a 30 second clip we're talking about, we're talking over three hours. And I would say that's hardly a comparison to make. And I hope that you report me and flag me, because when YouTube sees what you've been doing, your YouTube channel is going to go bye-bye, and it'll be because of your choice and your decisions why it is that you are removed. 
Well, I have no reason to flag you, sir. Let me repeat, I do not flag people just because I disagree with them. This goes for everyone. I don't know where you got the idea that I would flag a theist just for being a theist, or if they say something I disagree with. To add to that, if I was to flag down a video, I would try warning the individual before doing so with a good reason. This is exactly what I did with Ronnie, and it was by his own choice not to listen to my warnings. So in the end, he really has no one to blame but himself. The fact that you admit to flagging people like this and doing the kind of behavior that you've done already condemns your YouTube channel. Well, as previously stated, you seem to have an incorrect view on why I would flag somebody. If I were you and I knew the actual facts of the matter, I would struggle to find a single good reason to put Redline in the wrong. Now, I'm willing to clarify anything that you need clarification for, because I feel it's important you get the full story. That way you can come to a more accurate conclusion. In this video where you actually show the Christian YouTuber that you flagged, you have several videos with his clips in your videos. You deliberately went over to his YouTube channel and grabbed his videos. Yes, as previously stated, I did use his videos. What you are ignoring, though, is the manner in which I used them. This was already explained as the clip reply clip format, which protects my video under fair use. This would also protect your video under fair use, the one I'm currently replying to. This was a method that Ronnie did not use, unfortunately, and because of that, his video was taken down. You did not give any kind of credit in your about section on where it is that you got the music that you ripped off. Kill Switch Engage was the band, and the song was called My Last Serenade, one of my favorite songs, actually. And I also noticed they use a lot of content and material from bands like Disturbed, and you've also taken out some of the special effects of music videos that are not yours and put them into your own, in your own videos in order to make whatever money it is that you're trying to make on YouTube. <laughs> What? <laughs> I would like to know where you got the idea that I'm making money off of YouTube. I do not, nor have I ever gotten a single penny from my videos. This must be more misinformation you got from a third party, I assume. I have a 60 hour a week job outside of YouTube to pay for my bills. Bills which would include my prized possession, my one liter Honda Civic. <laughs> Okay, it's slightly modified, I'll, I'll admit. But since I have already went into the intro issue, let's move on. In your video called The Third Redditorial You Just Want to Sin, you use various pieces of artwork that are not yours, that you went off onto Google and took them off of various websites, probably using Google Images, and so on, and so on. You most likely did not ask for permission. Imagery is just as important and copyrighted just as videos are. You stole these images, you stole music, and you've also stole video footage off of other YouTubers. So therefore, according to your logic, everyone on the planet should report your YouTube channel and have you taken down immediately. First of all, it's pronounced reditorial, like editorial but with red line in it, so... Red line, editorial, red editorial, supposed to be clever. No? Okay, whatever. Wow, tough crowd. Anyway, there's a little trick I learned, Brett, and I'm actually going to show you and everyone how to do this little trick. It's how to use Google Images in your videos and still be protected under fair use. It sounds crazy, but let me explain. We're going to need an example, so let's use the first image in your clip, the dice in the impossible triangle formation. If you click onto Google and type impossible triangle in the search bar, you will see many options come up. Now what we need to do is filter these images so that only the ones that are free to be reposted are showing. Luckily, Google has provided such a tool. If you go into the top right hand corner of the page, you will see a little gear. Click on that and go to advanced search. 
After that, go down to the drop down menu at the bottom. It's labeled Usage Rights. Select Free to Use or Share. It will then do its magic and voila! Now what you have is a gigantic, seemingly endless list of free to use images that can be used in a YouTube video. So again, I have taken the appropriate steps, which means my video is protected under fair use. As you can see, the image shown in your clip is the same image that is on this list. So sorry, Brett, but feel free to use that tip. You're welcome, by the way. In fact, that's the same logic you used in order to flag Christians and give them strikes on their channel so they can't have live hangouts. Yeah, I would like to know where you got the idea that I don't want Christians to have hangouts. They can have a hangout all day, every day for all I care. It does not matter to me. The only thing they can't do is steal another person's hangout and re-upload it on their channel without either adhering to the previously stated format or asking the owner's permission. Again, Ronnie did neither, so his channel got a strike. To make matters worse, you've also stolen video footage from the YouTube user G-Man, who is a very nice and respectful Christian who tries to politely debate with atheists as where they will talk trash to him, attack him in the comments board, and do the same to true imperialism. I couldn't help but notice that in that clip you showed, you just show my image on the screen as you're scrolling through the video. Do you know why that is, Brett? It's because that video to G-Man actually adheres to the format I stated previously. It's the very same format that your own video to me is using. It's also the very same format that G-Man used as well. Yeah, that's right. Who would have fucking thought? He used it in his video replying to my second redditorial. If you're calling me out for using this format, then you should also be calling G-Man out and even Ronnie for doing the exact same thing. This would again make you a hypocrite if you didn't, because your video actually follows this format as well. If it's such a bad thing, Brett, why do you, and your fellow Christians, do it as well? Huh. Do I smell double standard in the air with a side of hypocrite? Yep, that's definitely what that is. You're doing this kind of behavior and these kind of actions, but when someone defeats you in a debate and then posts the debate or parts of it into their video, you have an issue with this? Look, you're free to your subjective opinion about my win-lose ratios that I've had with theists. That will have to be a video for another time. I do not have a problem with people posting hangouts that they've had with me, so long as the hangouts were on their channel to begin with and protected under their copyright. Another option is to follow the format previously stated, you know the same format that you and your buddies use? Or you can ask the owner's permission to mirror the hangout. And again, Ronnie did none of these things. If Ronnie wanted to bring attention to a hangout that was on my channel, he could have made a 30 second clip with a link to my hangout. Or he could have, you know, asked. And even though I think he's dishonest, I would have let him use my video. But because he decided to be a hard ass about it, that shit was not going to fly. And so again, his channel got a strike. Obviously, you don't understand public domain or fair use. Christians don't go around and report atheists whenever they do these kind of things. For over 10 years, I've watched where atheists will grab Christian videos and use them in their own videos, mocking them, harassing them, insulting them, trying to tell them that their religion and their belief system is absolute stupidity and retarded and that they're mentally ill. But you think it's okay for you to take other people's content and do this. And if someone were to take footage of you getting your ass handed to you in a debate, then you think that that gives you the right to flag down their YouTube channel. How about that? How about the fact that you are severely misinformed? The fact that some videos made by atheists are rude and disrespectful is irrelevant to the issue of what is protected under fair use. Commentary, even if rude, does not negate the fact that it is still commentary. And if that commentary is presented in their videos and making a point, then it is covered under fair use. As a side note here, theists are not innocent of making videos that one would find rude or disrespectful as well. 
you yourself have insulted me in your video, and Ronnie has said I was full of shit on numerous occasions, in numerous videos, and in numerous hangouts. Just look at his track record. But so what when it comes to the real issue? Notice that all of Ronnie's other videos, even though they're rude and dishonest, are still up. That would be because Ronnie followed the proper format for those occasions, and when he did not follow that format, and he did not heed my warnings, his channel got a strike. Again, he has nobody to blame but himself. For me personally, if someone makes a video where they threaten to kill someone or harm someone or do something abusive to an animal or a human being on video, I can understand why that would be reported. Now, unless you're going to try to convince us all that it did some kind of physical or mental trauma or damage to you having your ass kicked by true imperialism, I uh, don't see a good reason for your logic for going over there and flagging them, him and encouraging your buddies to do that along with you. I like how you say the word empiricism. Just throwing that out there. It's not an insult or anything. I just like the way you say it. The issue would not be mental anguish with the content of the video that was stolen from me. It would simply be the fact that it was stolen from me. Ever thought of that? I have explained repeatedly why the video he stole would not be protected under fair use, and I have also explained why I am justified in using their clips. So unless you have a rock for a brain, I'm not going to repeat myself. Secondly, I find it really funny that your buddies and you yourself do the same thing I do, use the same exact format, yet it's only wrong if I use that format for my videos. Again, hypocrite much? Hmm. But I already knew that you were a coward. I already knew that you were a weakling. Not only do you have to wear a mask, but I've actually interacted with you on YouTube before. Maybe you don't remember. You see... You invited God believers to come in your room and debate you. I had a friend of mine named Galaxy Dreams who said that you were a nice guy who liked to have debates and asked me if I'd like to come in and you gave her permission. Whenever I came into the room, you tried to pull all kinds of nonsense on me and asked me all kinds of ridiculous questions and you expected me to answer the way you wanted me to answer and if I didn't, you actually told me you were going to eject me from the room, kick me out. Wow, that's a logical, rational atheist for you. And when I didn't answer the question the way you wanted me to answer, you put me out of the room. Again, it's okay for you to insult me, calling me a weakling, but you scream bloody murder when someone says Ronnie's God the Gaps argument is full of shit or is called a dumbass. You are not helping your case here. If your intent was to lead by example, you're doing a piss poor job. Now, I do remember that Hangout in Galaxy Dreams is actually one of my friends as well. At least, I consider her a friend. That's right, Galaxy. Girl power. Shing. Now, you actually did refuse to answer questions. You even attempted to run my Hangout. I even told you that this Hangout is not owned by you, is not run by you, and the rest is history. You did not like that fact. And I would have loved to have a conversation, but not with someone who's bossy and who thinks he can order people around, especially in a Hangout he's not hosting. So you seem to think it's okay to abuse people and kick people around. Interesting. Well, I would like to challenge you to come into a live room with me and we'll debate about what you're doing. And I'm going to educate you on what public domain and fair use is and how you broke a federal law whenever you did what you did to this particular YouTuber. You talk about how much money you got. I wonder if you'll have enough money to get yourself out of uh, jail. Peace out, ladies and gentlemen. You've been listening to Brett Keen from the YouTube channel, Brett Keen Hollywood. Well, in that case, I'll be seeing you in court. If Ronnie really wants to push it that far, then by all means, it would be really sad for him to do that, and it would be an easy victory for me, since I already won by bringing the case up with YouTube. As far as your challenge goes, I would have to think about it, because you've shown yourself to be a person not worth talking to for a number of reasons. But nonetheless, I will give it some thought. For your benefit, Keen, I will show you how to lead by example by ending this video respectfully. So again, my name is Redline, and to everyone, haters or not, have a good night.